in the test video too. So this is my uh, SLS, um, mostly just the Block 2, um, carrying a um, Altair, about 45 ton uh, lunar uh, three-man lunar lander and standard SLS Orion payload. Uh, it's all built using SSTU. I uh, include the stage decouplers there. I even was able to get the radial decouplers to work here. Um, just, they're good. I really like them. Uh, reliable. They just misbehave a bit with uh, the smaller solid rocket boosters for some reason. So I've got the, you know, it looks pretty much like the standard Pyros, uh, you know, two F1B engine boosters. Um, the tanks are a little, just a little bigger. You know, I haven't done exactly to spec um, just because of some of the scaling limitations of SSTU, but really, you know, quite close, close enough for me. Um, basically got it scaled to a ground thrust to weight ratio of one, you know, 1.15, same as the Saturn V more or less, so can't, I can't really make it heavier without you know, give, uh, add, doing something to add more thrust. Now, something I really tried to stick to, and I'm glad I was able to, is it's got the standard SLS uh, core with just the four engines, um, which I see is it's quite a limitation, I find, because even with the stretched boosters, um, after the 2 minute 45 um, mark, when the side boosters fall off, you, you, your down to a thrust weight ratio uh, below 1, well below 1, 0.81, for quite a while. So you have to fly it a little bit weird, but nothing like a delta. But basically, again, it's really as heavy as I can scale it without adding more thrust on those two stages. Um, upper, you know, texture's wrong according to the modern um, modern SLS pick, but yeah, it's what SSTU has, and I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, this is, I could, um, could you could actually build the, an upper stage like this using SSTU's um, tankage here, um, but I've actually gone with just they include a prefab, which we've scaled uh, here. That's the exploration upper stage, which that is quite accurate. Um, the other stuff was built with procedural, you know, the SSTU kind of procedural tanks and such. Um, but this was, you know, built to spec. Uh, let's see. And it has a crazy low, by my, by my standards, by my opinion, uh, thrust weight ratio 0.21 when it's, when it's lit. But it, uh, so again, you kind of have to fly it like a, really do have to fly it like a modern rocket, not like a Saturn, uh, Saturn V at all. Um, so again, so payload, uh, we've got uh, standard Orion, um, SLS. Let's see, make sure I've only got three crew. No, it always fills. You can see I've killed plenty of test guys. The or We only got, oh, we've got one of the originals. That's good. Uh, during the building and testing of this, but uh, the goal is to send uh, three men uh, into orbit. And, and then once we're, you know, once we're at the moon, we all three of them uh, can get into the Alta Air and go down to the surface. It's a 45-ton lander, so it's a huge lander. Um, I think the uh, the original design spec concept was that it could take a 15-ton payload to the lunar surface, which is huge. Uh, just the payload, mind you, not, you know, like, that doesn't include all the other stuff that that Altair does, including breaking the um, breaking into lunar orbit uh, and breaking lunar orbit and coming down to the surface. It could take quite a payload down to the lunar surface, uh, you know, so designed. I really like this, this design using the Altair style um, <clears throat> because you get the small service module, so ultimately the service module only has to really carry enough fuel uh, to send itself in the, in the man capsule back from low lunar orbit, so it's, you know, small. But in terms of mission design, if you don't want to send people, if you just want to send cargo to the moon or you want to send a couple of cargo missions, you, okay, you, you, you know, this can handle that it, it, because it itself is what breaks uh, normally breaks this whole thing into a low lunar orbit. If we weren't carrying the Orion, this could bring even more cargo down to the surface because it wouldn't have to break uh, this additional, about, I think it's like 20 ton, 30 ton, um, Orion and Orion service module uh, into low lunar orbit. Uh, so I really like that design compared to the Saturn V where you've got this service module which is you know, break breaks the lem into lunar orbit. So if you just wanted to send, you know, uh, kind of a lem derivative of cargo to the surface, you, you couldn't, because the, you'd have to burn lem fuel. Uh, I was thinking uh, the other day, maybe you could have a donut tank under the lem, so that that then brings fuel uh, for breaking just the lem into lunar orbit. But that's really speculative, and I have no idea uh, 
engineering wise whether that would be physically possible but anyway just generic description testing the microphone of my uber sls um, hope you enjoy